Oh, hey guys. We're back in the garage today. Let's show you guys what we're going to get done today on the quad. Alright guys, if you saw the last video, you saw how we washed everything up. If uh, you haven't seen that video, check it out. The link will be right there. Uh, and there's a promotion on that video guys, so you want to check it out. Alco Cleaners is hooking you guys up, 20% off. Check that video out and find out how. Alright, so you guys saw, we have the quad all cleaned. And uh, we got a few issues to take care of. Nothing major, a couple small things. Number one, replace that fender bracket, alright? Number two, we are going to replace the starter. It's getting tired. If you guys, many of you who race know, we all run 24 volt starters and uh, it definitely shortens the life of the starters. Eventually they almost start on 24 volts like they were on 12. So we got a starter, I got a starter here. That starter is uh, seven months old, maybe a little less, not a lot of time on it. That was from the old race bike, the old new race bike. So I want to swap that in. This thing should fire up super fast and be good. Um, we do have to change this heated grip. We will get that removed and ready. We won't have that until Thursday. So we'll have to put that on Thursday. And then uh, we are going to change these tires. We may not do that today. We may wait. Just keep, eye, keep an eye on the weather and uh, see if we need the studs or not. But either way, we'll have them, whether they're on the quad or we just bring them and check out conditions when we're at the race um and also we are going to change the nets out all right because you can see these are these are just about a year old now and they got uh they got some time on them so we're gonna you know you can see my foot always falls through there which can be dangerous don't want to run myself over so i'm going to change those out so we got a solid spot to put our feet so uh let's get going guys all right, guys, now this is pretty straightforward. I'm sure many of you guys have done this before when installing a new grab bar or even replacing these on an aftermarket grab bar. We got a spare one we had from the other quad, so pretty simple. Remove this. And then we'll just pop this one in, and that's done. Ooh, a little pressure on that thing, huh, guys? Look at that. All right, guys, that is done. Next up, we're going to move on to the starter. All right, guys, so removing the starter, pretty easy. You do not have to take the header off. You can get it just to where you can slide it in between the header and the engine. It comes out pretty easy. So first thing we're going to do is disconnect the power cable. You know, the starter positive lead right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll get that out. And then it's just a matter of uh, two 8 millimeter bolts that are holding the starter uh, onto the engine. So loosen those up, get those out. There's one. And there's 
is the second one and we'll just go around the other side and just give it a little little tap So basically you just slide it back, tilt it up, and she will come right out just like that. Now I usually write dates on these, but it's too dirty to see. But this one's definitely over a year old, probably close to two. So still good to have on the shelf just as a backup. But uh, we're going to put this other one in and she should fire up much faster. Drop it in the same way you took it out. And then you can slide it into place. Alright, so she's in. Get these two eights back in. Now I just heard from... Uh, my good buddy Herb Willis at Sport Bike Powder Coating. He shipped off maybe half of my parts that I had over there. And that's the um, like the small parts guys. He shipped all my engine covers, which is good. So we can get the, uh, the engine finished up, hopefully uh, early next week. And then he shipped me, oh, I think he's got maybe some yellow stuff some surprise color stuff which i'm not going to tell you guys and i think maybe he said maybe a swing arm maybe a bumper or two but he's, he's maybe about half the stuff i'm waiting on so that's good so we can start also on getting uh the new build going and then this squad is going to get completely redone as well we got a whole pretty pretty much a arms swing arm frame subframe uh, everything to uh give this one a good makeover because she's tired this frame is shot if you guys been following along you've been seeing i keep cracking the frame rails it just it never never stops once you start so definitely excited to finally get a build going especially the new one so fingers crossed the new one should be done in four to six weeks guys i only have a few parts left to buy pretty much have everything i need at least the majority of it I gotta buy a few things, nothing crazy. I think I gotta buy I gotta buy an exhaust. Um I gotta buy a seat cover. Uh, maybe just some other miscellaneous small items, but nothing crazy. I think the I got all the most expensive stuff out of the way, which is good. Alright, so we're just gonna uh, put the power wire back on. Thing. All right, she's good. Put the little rubber cover back on there, and the starter is done, guys. All right guys, so let's get these nets changed out next.
All right, guys, that is a wrap for today. We did the oil. If you guys want to see a real-time video on that, it's right here. I did one not too long ago, pretty much how to change your oil. Uh, we changed the air filter, brand new, oiled it up, installed. Uh, we did the nets. We did the starter. Now we just got to start her up, let her warm up. We'll check the oil. We'll add some if needed. Uh, but that's, like I said, it's going to be a wrap for today, guys. Tomorrow we will do, we will get the heater grip off. We're going to change the tires and uh, we'll get the plastics back on. So we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, I figure we'll just prepare for winter conditions. We'll bring the other tires with us. If the, if the weather is nice, then we'll swap them out. It's going to be super muddy because I don't want to ruin those studded tires, guys. Uh, they did last pretty good last race, so I'm guessing they're going to keep on lasting. So uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Throw me a like in this video. And if you got any questions, drop a comment, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.